For this special segment at Red Hat Summit, I'm pleased to welcome to the program from Permabit, we have Tom Cook, who's the president and CEO of the company, and Louis Immershine, who's the vice president of product. Gentlemen, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for having us today, Stu. All right, so, so Tom, first of all, Permabit, G give us the update on, 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 the, on the company. Yeah, so we've been historically a provider of data reduction technologies to OEMs. So the major storage vendors have been big customers of ours uh, for years and years. And today, we're really pleased to be introducing here at Red Hat Summit 16, VDO6, which is a product that's tailor-made for the Linux environments and Linux platform, Linux storage stack, um, to support data efficiency and data reduction uh, in the platform. We're hugely excited about it because of all the energy that's behind hybrid cloud. It's the perfect product for that. All right, so, so Lewis is the VP of product. Uh, you know, bring us inside, you know, what was the, the, the catalyst for this product and uh, you know, what, what led to the announcement? Sure, so uh, VDO6 is a whole new concept for us around data reduction for the Linux storage stack. It's the only modular data reduction available on Linux. Um, all of the other solutions out there are complete storage solutions that have data reduction in them. We allow a different approach. And what's really cool is you can use our data reduction with all of the Linux components. You can use it with Ceph, you can use it with Cluster, you can use it with KVM, with direct attached storage, with LIO, with NAS file shares, uh, NFS, SIFs. It all just works because we're a modular, module that sits at the block layer. And it's easily installed as an RPM on Red Hat. Uh, we've introduced a new um, product with this release called um, called VDO Optimizer, and VDO Optimizer is a file system plugin that works with VDO to provide our higher levels of data reduction for backup and archive use cases. Uh, so we're offering essentially the only product out there that's optimized for data reduction, not just for primary storage, but for backup and archive as well, all in one package. Okay, great. So we, we've seen you know, Linux proliferation everywhere, especially Red Hat. Uh, it's not just on-prem, it's living in public cloud environments. Uh, announcements Red Hat's been making a lot around containers. Uh, so uh, d d d does this uh, product then span uh, everywhere Linux goes? Um, yes, and, and in fact, while our initial release is on Red Hat Enterprise Linux, um, of course we'll be supporting other Linux distributions as well. Right. Yeah. We're obviously if, at Red Hat Summit. If We're you think excited. about it, it really, it really impacts positively uh, RHEL, uh, the storage products, Ceph and Gluster, uh, containers, virtualization, and OpenStack environments as well. So it's a huge value proposition. I mean, what, is, what can't you like about at least 4x data savings so that you can save on the infrastructure and hardware investment? It's a really a positive step for the Linux marketplace. Yeah, Tom, I'm wondering if you could comment. You know, the, the storage industry is an odd beast. We're seeing a lot of industry consolidation, but at the same time, it's always been heavily fragmented. So, uh, as a storage software company, uh, you know, how do you maintain a, kind of your independence and, and still fit into the overall discussion? It's a really great question because uh, this is the product that we're talking about today, and we're introducing that now. Uh, service providers and enterprises can utilize that's been vetted very fully by a lot of large companies. We've been the vendor of choice in the data reduction area for companies like IBM, EMC, HDS, NetApp, NEC, and Oracle. And so now we have a chance to bring this directly to uh, companies that are building out their own clouds um, and really getting the advantage of this through Linux. So what's not to love? open source along with the best data reduction in the business, and we think that's a huge value proposition. All right, so Lewis, can you talk to us so some, some of the benefits of the product, any, any financial things that you can share, any early customers? Sure, um, well, I, I mean, the most telling proposition about the, with this product is really, um, you know, comes from that four to one data reduction that Tom spoke to, and if you think about, you know, not just storage savings, but data center costs. And you consider for a second that the typical data center cost is $3,000 per square foot to build out a data center. And you then think about what four to one data reduction would save the industry in data center build out. You quickly reach a number of $1.5 trillion By between 2020. now and 2020. That's five billion square feet of saved 
uh, data center space because storage consumes 30% of a data center today. That's a huge number. And because of that, we've got wins already in the telco space, major APAC uh, win with a telco provider, uh, major win with government agency as well, and we're moving into financial services and telco providers very aggressively here. So the value proposition is really compelling with people that are building out extremely large data centers. Yeah, so, so, Tom, I mean, there, there's been criticism of the storage industry for a bunch of years. It's like, oh, all those storage efficiency things, they want to sell more capacity because that's what they make their money on. But, you know, I said, over the last five years, most of the storage companies, they understand. They have to, things like dedupe and compression and, uh, you know, uh, all the other things to reduce the cost. If they don't do it, somebody else is going to uh, force that. So, uh, you know, what, what differentiates what, what, what you're doing compared well, so, to the other so storage? Yes, right? they have come along and they, they've started to build that out. Well, the reality is if you're building a cloud and you're concerned about brand, then you're doing it wrong, okay? There's a lot of margin that's left there and that's why there's a great opportunity to fill that with Linux. First of all, really superior and, and excellent technology that's caught up and beating many of the proprietary vendors. But they've done something that's very specific to each of their stacks in, in general. And they've lagged behind on performance, scalability, and they need a, almost a supercomputer on board on some of their systems. Now, because our system is so efficient and so uh, um, footprint, uh, um, uh, can operate on such a small footprint, we can operate truly on any platform. So that means the, co the combination of white box proliferation, uh, Linux and Red Hat supported software uh, availability and software defined environments really brings a whole new universe of efficiency to the marketplace. I think for the first time, the entire ecosystem around open source is a and hybrid cloud is aligned for efficiency. And that's something in the proprietary world that has always been a little bit, there's always been a little bit of tension on that. And I think, you know, overall, the proprietary vendors would love to maintain 55% gross margins and growth uh, uh, businesses. But when we look at the infrastructure space, Red Hat continues to grow at an extraordinary rate you know, high teams, while the other named infrastructure players are starting to have a lot of challenges. So it's a new world out there. We're really pleased to be part of it here. Okay, great. So uh, can, can you speak to the go-to-market uh, of this, uh, customers that, you know, intrigued, you know, who are they turning to? Are there certain OEMs that are announced, or what, what, what's the best way that they can yeah, find the products? Uh, really uh, great question. So we've been a, a, an arms provider uh, to big companies that have their own sales force. So this means a little bit of an adjustment for us. And it's because we are approached by companies saying we're building out a cloud, a uh, hybrid cloud, can you help us? So we're now working with a select group of uh, systems integrators and, and uh, companies that do development and are building clouds for people. What we're seeing with a lot of companies that are moving from proprietary to now open uh, uh, source-based hybrid clouds, um, they're doing it with help. They're doing it with consulting help. They're doing it with uh, uh, people who are architecting, helping them architect, and then people like Red Hat that are supporting their environments. They're not going naked uh, in the environment. It's a very complex set of technologies that they're building out. And so we're really happy to be part of that. And so we've got go-to-market with Red Hat right now. We've got go-to-market with um, the, the systems integrators that are starting to adopt this and build uh, Linux practices for hybrid cloud, and we're really excited about that too. So in the next coming weeks, we'll have some announcements about the partners that we're coming to market with, and it's really a leverage model so that we can get out there and be part of the specification from the beginning. We believe there's a land grab that's going on right now in the hybrid cloud market space. It's really important to win today because by 2020, or 2017 to 2020, depending on the analysts that you talk to, most people believe 80 plus percent of the marketplace will be moving to the hybrid cloud. So it's very important to win those uh, customers today so you're part of that movement over the next five year period. All right, well, Tom and Lewis, uh, thank you so much. Congratulations on the product launch and thanks, appreciate the update on, on Permabit. Uh, thanks, you, you've been watching theCUBE.